Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at a very beautiful monastery in Saxony. This is in eastern part of Germany on the Polish border. A very beautiful Catholic monastery. And we had here for the several last days, we had a beautiful interreligious congress where different representatives from all main religions came together, that means Christianity of course, Buddhism, Judaism, Islam and Shivatma and myself, we were uh, the representatives of Hinduism. Of course, every main religion has different traditions also, so we are from the so-called Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya or Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition. And uh, so to this Congress from nine, I think, eight different nations of Europe, nine school classes came here to learn something about the different main religions of this world. And the title, the head title of this Congress was Interreligious Respect for Other Religions. And we have met a very nice person here from Rome, a teacher of many languages and religion. Is that right? Yeah, I also teach uh, religion, yeah. Okay. This is Fabrizio. He's a teacher of a grammar school in Rome. Yes. And we want to discuss a little bit about uh, how should we pray, in which kind of attitude we should pray uh, in Christianity. Maybe you can tell us a few words about this and give us a practical demonstration. Mm -hmm. Well, when we pray, uh, the disciples ask Jesus. They wanted to learn how to pray. So the, they answer, uh, they ask the, Jesus, please teach us to pray because we, we don't know how to pray. And then he said, when you pray, what uh, he said is written in the Gospel of Matthew, the chapter 5. And this is important to understand the way we have to pray, the, how, how we have to prepare ourselves to pray. And then he said, therefore, when you pray, you have to pray like this, in this manner. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Französisch. Notre Père, qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite, sur la terre comme aux cieux. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour. Pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne nous soumets pas à la tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal, ainsi soit-il. In italiano, anche, Padre nostro, che sei nei cieli, sia santificato il tuo nome, venga il tuo regno, sia fatta la tua volontà, come in cielo, così in terra. Dacci oggi il nostro pane quotidiano e rimetti a noi i nostri debiti, come noi li rimettiamo ai nostri debitori. Non ci indurre in tentazione, ma liberaci dal male. E poi, per concludere, possiamo dirla anche in latino. Latino? Sì, la lingua latina. Pater noster, qui es in cieli, santificetur nomen tuum, Advenia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Pane nostro quotidiano da nobis odie, e non induca in tentazione, sed libera nostra malo. Amen. Fata unsa im himmel, 
geheiligt werde dein Name. Dein Reich komme, dein Wille geschehe, wie im Himmel, so auf Erden. Unser tägliches Brot gib uns heute und vergib uns unsere Schuld, wie auch wir vergeben unseren Schuldigern. Und führe uns nicht in Versuchung, sondern erlöse uns von den Bösen. Denn dein ist das Reich und die Kraft und die Herrlichkeit in Ewigkeit. Amen. Amen. And what about you? What, what do you suggest to pray? What are uh, the things that you do when you pray? What is the best way to pray in your tradition? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we have also, like you have read from the Bible, we have this this inner private type of praying that is called Japa in Sanskrit. It is just heard as loud that you yourself can hear it. And I can give you a short demonstration. We have yes. even a kind of rosary. Ah, like in the Catholic religion, we have the rosary. Exactly. Uh, in our tradition that is called a uh, Japa Mala. Mala means like a rosary. rosary. And Japa is this silent prayer. prayer. And we have a very special prayer. It is quite well known worldwide. It is the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, we call it. And the meaning of that prayer is that uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. The meaning is, O Krishna, Krishna means the all attractive because God is so beautiful, so opulent, so generous, so kind, has so many beautiful qualities that all the living entities in their original pure state, they feel mostly attracted to God, to Krishna. Therefore, we call him Krishna. It's just one name. We respect all names of all main religions. So then the other name is Rama. Rama means the source of all pleasure. Because all the pleasure is originally coming from God. And Hare comes from Hara. This is the female energy that gives us the power or the strength to um, offer love and devotion to Krishna or to, to God. And we do this, I will give you a short demonstration. Every morning, that is the best time, we do this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and so on. And we go this rosary this way down, and uh, after seven or seven and a half minutes, usually, uh, depends indivi individual, individually, yes, yeah. we come back here, where you start. where we started, so to say, but we don't jump no. above this main uh, beat, but go back. And that's we, this we do uh, 16 times in the day. So that's, that is our silent private prayer called Japa. And beside that we have also a loud prayer that is called Kirtana. Kirtana, Kirtana means the loud praising of God, which is also in the Christianity, we also have this loud glorification mm. of God or God's name. And I have brought my guitar with us, with me. And uh, thank you. And we together want to give you a short demonstration how in our tradition uh, this Kirtana practice is performed. And we want to sing this famous song, even the Beatles have sung it already, so why not we? And uh, it goes like this. 
Thank you. 